Give you a little tour here. We'll get back to ribs a little bit later on. But uh, all the ribs lines, you can see the smoke. You can see people out there. Things are looking good. Remember, it's free to get into the Rib Fest. Uh, so all in all, you just have to walk up. The music is free and all the entertainment, too. They do have a kids zone as well. And you can see uh, we do have some local uh, ribbers here, too. Outlaw is here. Uh, underdog as well. And uh, you can see down there all the way, Rib King and uh, Cowboys. We've had them already. Very tasty, of course. And then you can see there in middle of Perry Square, they got vendors and families can go over there, buy some toys. Uh, I think there's also a beer tent, of course, for those who, who need that as well. So all in all, Rib Fest is underway. We'll talk to some more of the ribbers, see why their ribs are the best. They're looking for your votes to get some prizes. And if you go buy them, they got some mighty big trophies as well. But nonetheless, had to take a little break from those ribs. But we'll have some more ribs coming up in just a few moments. You can count on that, right? Yeah. All right, John, we're going to check in with uh, him in just a little while once again for a full look at the forecast. But, you know, Erie News Now is a proud sponsor of RibFest. Yes. We are also a proud sponsor of the this. Waterford Fair. That's right, the Waterford Community Fair. And it is still going on this week. A lot of events uh, today, tomorrow happening there in Waterford. Yeah, so there's the 4-H livestock sale at 6 o'clock tomorrow. And the ATV rodeo is right after that at 6.30. Friday's also full of horse-themed events, a tractor pool, a lot of fun classic fair events, I would say. Yeah, for sure. But uh, that livestock um, event at 6 o'clock is actually happening tonight. Yes. So, uh, yeah, of course, there's the, f the, the fair food, the rides, the games, all of that to take in as well. But the Waterford Community Fair does wrap up on Saturday. It's not the only fair going wow. on in our region because there's one more, too. Yes, yeah. the Spartansburg Fair. Exactly. So um, that is underway. That wraps up Saturday night at 11. Mm -hmm. All right. Also tonight, we want to take a look at um, something else going on, and that is the start of the NFL yes. season. It kicks off with Thursday night football. The reigning Kansas City Chiefs will be taking on the Detroit Lions. We're going to have more on that coming up, but we wanted to show you this. So this is Alex and Tony. So they're a Chiefs loving couple and they love the Chiefs so much. They're season ticket holders and when they <laughs> sealed their vows, they didn't get pronounced husband and wife. They became one team. Yeah, one team. That's what they call themselves. They fell in love. Listen to this at Arrowhead Stadium. They got engaged before a game in 2021. The couple has missed just four games wow. in the last six years. And this is going to be their first season as, again, a married couple, as they call themselves, one team. This is their era's tour. Yeah. <laughs>